Cells are the building blocks of life and the smallest or basic unit that make up life. Think of a cell as a Lego brick. With many Lego bricks, you can make a bigger structure with it. The same goes for the cell. With many cells, you're able to form a multicellular organism. A thing to take note is that cells are made up of smaller units with special functions called organelles. Let us now take a look at the difference between an animal cell and plant cell. We're going to state the organelles found in both cells first. The nucleus, it contains chromatin, which is hereditary material, and it also controls all cellular activities. Then there's the rough endoplasmic reticulum, which appears rough due to the ribosomes attached to its surface. It transports those proteins made by the ribosomes on its surface to the Golgi apparatus for secretion out of the cell. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum synthesizes fat and steroids. It turns harmful substances into harmless material. This process is called detoxification. There is also the cytoplasm, which is a medium for most chemical reactions to occur in the cell. The cell membrane, which is a phospholipid bilayer, is partially permeable. It helps to regulate the entry and exit of certain substances in and out of the cell. Next, we have the Golgi apparatus, which stores and modifies the substances made by the smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum and then packages and transport these modified substances into secretory vesicles for secretion out of the cell. Mitochondria is an organelle which releases energy or ATP molecules to be more specific for the cell by oxidizing food substances such as glucose through aerobic respiration. Lastly, we have the ribosomes which synthesizes proteins. Now, let us take a look at the difference between the organelles found in the animal cell and the plant cells. Both animal cells and plant cells have a vacuole, but it differs. Animal cells have small and numerous but temporary vacuoles, while plant cells have a large central vacuole which is permanent. Both vacuoles store water, minerals, nutrients and enzymes. The plant cell contains chloroplasts, which is what makes the plants green as they contain the pigment chlorophyll. It is also the site where photosynthesis takes place. Lastly, we have the cell wall, which is a fully permeable membrane. It is made out of cellulose, so therefore it is able to provide mechanical support for the cell. Thank you for watching.